See, the point is, you don't know how much future you've got. What's gone is gone. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Some of you have had divorces. Some of you um, have probably had bankruptcies. Some of you have had terrible things happen in the past. But what's gone is gone. It's in the past. And to spend your time focusing on the past is to spend the only thing that you've got, and that's what's right here, right now, because the sand never stops running. This is all we've got. And to spend your time now thinking of what happened there is making absolute certain that the future is going to be the same as the past. Now, I don't suppose many of us spend a lot of time thinking about that, but a lot of us spend a lot of time making that error. That's an excellent symbol. All you got is now. I remember years and years ago, I suffered with headaches, terrible headaches. I got to the point where I was taking buffering for the headaches. Then I got to the point where I was taking Sinutab with codeine for headaches. There was 16 in the bottle, and I got to the point where I was taking two bottles a day. As a matter of fact, most times I didn't even remember my head not aching. But I was sort of numb all the time. Of course, with that much junk in you, I guess you couldn't be any other way. And I remember talking to this chap. I was in the Hotel Vancouver, and I was picking up two heavy briefcases or suitcases, and I was in a real rush to get to the airport. He said, what's the matter with you? He said, you look like you're going to pass out. And I said, I feel like I am. Well, he said, what's the matter? And I said, my head is aching so bad, I feel sick to my stomach. Now, some of you suffer with this, and I felt like banging my head against the wall. It was so much pain. He said, go and sit down in that chair. And I said, I don't have time. I got to catch a plane. He said, listen, you can always get another plane. You only get one head. He said to me, do you know what forgive means? And by the way he asked the question, I just thought, I probably don't. And I said, well, I don't know. He says, forgive means let go of completely, abandon, just let it go. Unequivocally, no strings attached. Now he said, if you want to rid yourself of headaches, just forgive all thoughts that are on your mind. And you just listen to me. And he put me in a totally relaxed state. I felt better than I had felt for years. Because you're going to find that your head is aching because of the things that you're not letting go of. And it's causing tension and it's causing an abnormal state of vibration in the cells in the brain, which causes the blood to rush to the head. And as you put yourself in a totally relaxed state, you'll soon become programmed to relax. I know that I would not be able to do what I do as often as I do it and as long as I do it if I wasn't relaxed. Leland Vell Vanderwall said something when we were sitting having coffee, and I jotted it down. Every time this guy opens his mouth, he drops a pearl, I'm so wise. He said, let us not look back in anger, nor forward in fear, but around us in awareness. Was there ever depth in that? Let's not look back in anger. Let's quit thinking in reverse, nor forward in fear, but around us in awareness. I hope you enjoyed this video. We put a lot of good information up here and it causes everything in your life to get better. If you'd like us to notify you every time we put a new video up, hit subscribe and then turn on notifications. Check out all our videos and we will notify you when we put a new one up.